welcome back to another review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week I have another big hitting PT number but one at the higher scale. This week it's an Ardbeg but not what you usually see, it's the Ardbeg Corvecan. I remember trying this at the distillery last year and in the lineup this is the one that stood out for me. I've always loved Ugadal, that's my number one probably favourite Ardbeg but then this came along and really piqued my interest so I thought I'd better get another bottle. And my partner is um, not the biggest fan of whiskey, but she really liked this one. So this is one that we can both share. So as you can see, it's not even opened. So I'm going to get this open because I've obviously tried it. I don't know how far down the bottle it was. You've given your little sample sets and yeah, it just stood out for me. So I'm hoping to get the same again. I went and bought a cool wee glass for this one as well. A wee grappa glass just to set the scene. So we'll get this open and we'll go through it a little bit. Where's my little, here we go. So Corvecan is a whirlpool north of Isla, north of Jura. There's a big telltale about it, um, and I never really knew that. So it's named after a whirlpool. Let's see if we get a good pop. Oh, that's a good one. Pretty sure you can smell this through the camera. That is just delicious. Delicious straight away. Get in the glass. The thing with it, it's hard to see the colour because Ardbeg have always got the darker glass, so you never know if it's going to be lighter or darker. For me, I'm going to say light is what I remember it by. That's slightly darker than I remember. That's fine. So it's not an age statement. 57.1% ABV, non-chill filtered. The thing, the thing is, it doesn't say natural cash strength. I heard a lot of telltale that they just water it down to certain ABVs, but it never says natural cash strength. And I've looked at the box as well. But we'll get into that. It doesn't that's not to keep away from that. But natural color, natural, uh, well, natural color, non-chill filtered, um, and fifty-seven point one percent. In fact, I'm not going to take that natural color back. In fact, it doesn't say it on the bottle. It just says non-chill filtered. But still, let's have a little smell, a little taste. Just the, that that peat smoke that just comes straight through the typical Arbeg way. Meaty, it's quite peppery, it's quite soft, delicate. There's a sweetness coming through as well. That slight like ocean breeze with it. Nothing too salty, but it's got kind of the meaty cheese, you know, meats and cheese, that really deep, deep flavours with it. You, know, you get some whiskey which is very light, it's very nice, very approachable. This is a, <clears throat> it's came into the bar, it's kicked the door open, it's sat down and both arms out and demanded, demanded a dram. That's the type of whiskey this is. It's not someone that's came in and opened the door and asked if, oh, is there any seats in this bar? Can we have a, can have a look at your whiskey menu? Our bigs came in, kicked the door off the hinges, sat down and demanded whiskey. This is the type of whiskey this is for me. But it's beautiful. Sweeter than I remember. That cheesy note starting to come through now, that kind of base with it. Let's get this back on the palate. Slange everyone. That kind of spice hits more. It's got a dry note to that kind of bonfire hit. It's not spicy, it's more a little bit of pepper, if that makes sense. It's more seasoned than it is a spice hit with sherry. I think this is a makeup of bourbon and French oak. That just lasts. You get that kind of funk with it, the hard big funk. So it's sweet, it's got a bit of pepper to it, cheesy. Big hard hitting peat, but at the same time, it's wonderful. Really enjoying it. And that's the neck pour as well, it's a little bit different. I did have a plan in the opening of this review because yesterday I was on a climb dumb yacht in Stirling. Took the bottle with me and I tried to do the intro. Very windy up there, not appreciating it, having a new phone that my mic doesn't insert into it. And then when I came down, it just looked as if I was miming to the <laughs> to the phone. So 
that's why there's no commentary before it's just a nice picture so now i need to indulge in a new mic for it but this is very good i'm glad so i remember trying it i was in the perfect environment it was my second day on isla first distillery of the day was our beg you hit there got our flights of whiskey i was like i've tried the Goodall, i've tried the 10 the perpetuum was there and also the the Coravecan, and i thought okay I'll see how they do. And that just stood out for me, even over the perpetual in a great way. But this is, I'm still getting that kind of cheesy note with it. It's great. It's so different. Ardbeg. Ardbeg can be so good and their age statements are solid. I reviewed the five-year-old um, a month or so ago, which is brilliant whiskey for what it is. Five years old. This has got no age statement. This could be the same age. It could be older. It could be younger. Really don't know, but it works. The balance is there. I really enjoy it. I love peaty whiskey. I do have my, my mood. I think the last few reviews I've done have actually been heavily peated things. And it's just by chance. Um, so I'll make sure the next one that I do is going to be unpeated. I'll make sure it's unpeated. I'll get this back on the palate. It just coats everything. It just fills out the full mouth. It's got the sweetness, the the bonfire smoke with that kind of sweetness to it and cheese. It's as if you're sitting around a bonfire and someone says, I'll have a s'more. And someone's like, do you know what? I'll have some charcuterie, I'll have some cheeses with it. And someone says, I'll just have some meat. And all these smells are going around the bonfire and they're just kind of coming towards you. So it's just a mix of everything, but they're all enjoyable things. You know, I love I love cheese, I love s'mores, I love bacon and things. So I'm getting all these kind of smells with it in one. And then on the palate, it just marries again together and gives you that same that same flavour profile. The branding are big standout right off the bat, you know exactly what they are. I think I paid 70 one pounds that was including delivery so i think it I think it was 67 pounds but it was 71 all in the difficult part is it's non age statement yes it's calf strength yes it's hard bag we do know that more hennessy products are expensive but they were struggling to keep up the demand hard bag because of everyone just wanted that isla peat was had to be hard bag so i think it was last year last two years that they've really expanded the distillery to to keep up with uh, production to keep everyone happy so i'm happy i've got one of these bottles this will last me a while and this will go in the cupboard i think someone had asked the other week if i have it from top to bottom my selection and it says no it's just depending on how i pick my bottles out and see what's hiding behind some i forget and they go back in any any order so i'll make sure next it's going to be something different but as always when it's a new bottle it's something i like to go back and enjoy i like to sit down and try and break it down a little bit more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back, get the feet up, still sore from yesterday's walk and relax with this one. Take it in and uh, maybe share a gram with the, with the other half as well. But everyone, again, thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed the content, hit the like button. If you've really enjoyed it, if you've not subscribed already, hit the subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram as well, Kevin Grant on Whiskey. And if you've got any um, recommendations or something you'd like me to review if I do have it I will definitely give it a go but again thanks for all your support it's been great doing this for you and getting people a lot of feedback from everyone as well a big shout out again to Roy from Aquiti for that and again tune in next week and let's talk whiskey Slanjiva folks mm -hmm.